Scientist J.B.S. Haldane, when asked whether he would lay down his life to save his brother, famously replied, No, but I would to save two brothers or eight cousins. Hi, my name is Anna Yurik and today I am presenting a review of a paper documenting the research performed by a team of scientists in Canada who observed red squirrel behaviour over a period of 19 years. This research presents evidence of altruism in an asocial mammal population through the observation of the adoption of the offspring of kin at the death of the kin. Hamilton's rule, the fundamental rule governing altruism, states that altruism should evolve when the fitness cost to the actor, C, in this case the adopting squirrel, is less than the fitness benefit, B, to the recipient, in this case the juvenile that's being adopted, multiplied by their coefficient of relatedness, R. RB is greater than C. This rule suggests, firstly, that the adopting mother is also gaining something, and secondly, that in order for this adoption to happen at all, the two individuals must be closely related. Over 6,000 juveniles were monitored across the study site. Field methods such as live trapping, weighing, tissue sampling and ear tagging of squirrels at birth were used and from this information a complete maternal ancestry was constructed. This information was then used to assess the relatedness of individuals. Five cases of adoption were observed where the complete maternal ancestry of the juvenile and the adopting mother were known. These can be seen as A1 through to A5. NA represents non-adopted juveniles where there was a related, mature aged female present, but where no adoption occurred. In both these cases, adoption would have decreased the adopting mother's inclusive fitness. This is shown by the negative figure of inclusive fitness. Inclusive fitness is the fitness of an individual organism as measured in terms of the survival and the reproductive success of its kin. The odds favoured the adoption by non-related females, however, this never occurred. It was only when a female was closely related to the individual that adoption took place. Adoption can therefore be viewed as an investment made by the adopting squirrel rather than a sacrifice. All components of Hamilton's rule were supported and directly quantified in this study. Altruism spoken of by Haldane, who said he would give his life for two brothers or eight cousins, is similar to the altruism displayed by these red squirrels. The adoption that occurred was very specific and calculated in a way that would increase the adopting mother's inclusive fitness and therefore the survival and vigour of her genetic material. Since this paper was published in 2010, it appears that no further research has been published on this fascinating area of behavioural biology. Thank you for your time.